Your forecast, if you are heading out to Bayou Boogaloo today, we're looking pretty good. Lower 90s, it's going to be humid. And because of the setup, a few pop-up showers and storms are possible. Tomorrow, weak frontal boundary gets very close to the area, and that's going to fire up some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Temperatures still in the lower 90s, but we may see a few thunderstorms get strong to severe, and there's a severe weather threat for the area, so just be mindful through tomorrow, Saturday afternoon into Saturday evening. And Sunday, less humid air begins to filter in. Plenty of sunshine and a pop-up shower or storm possible. Temperatures climbing into the 80s across the area. So here's a live look outside. Begin to see some stormy looking clouds, but I'm not tracking any rain. Pop-up shower too possible as we go through the afternoon, but temperatures are in the upper 80s. Feel like the upper 80s because it's humid. Winds are light out of the south at six miles per hour. There's a quick check of your temperatures. Everybody in the lower to mid, even upper 80s, but because it's humid outside, it feels like the lower 90s in Belt Chase, Slidell, feeling like 101 degrees in Covington. It's been quite some time since we've seen these feel like temperatures. So summer is again getting very close and I hope you are practicing heat safety while you're out and about. Winds aren't bad. We have that onshore flow again winds out of the south. So that's going to continue to increase the humidity as we go through the afternoon hours. And I am tracking a weather system out to the west and northwest here. We're looking at this upper level low. Now it is uh, associated with a cold front. That's that weak cold front I was talking about. That's going to move through Saturday and we're looking at a few strong to severe thunderstorms. If you're now tuning in, it's not going to be a complete washout, but you just want to make sure you're weather aware as we go through your Saturday. As we take a look at the radar here locally, not tracking any showers yet and your marine forecast looking pretty good. There are no alerts in effect. Winds are nice and light if you're heading out, but again, just be on the lookout for a pop up shower or storm. Now today's highs climbing into the lower 90s, upper 80s for many of us, coastal areas staying in the middle 80s and normally we're supposed to be at 86 degrees. So again, we will be above average once again as we go through today. UV index will be high, extremely high as we go through the, uh, the next several days. So make sure you're using sunscreen while you're out and about. So let's go ahead and talk about tomorrow's uh, severe weather threat. Pretty much for the entire area, including our Mississippi counties under a level one, which is a marginal threat. It is a low end threat. Now this excludes our coastal areas and the potential threats include strong damaging winds, large hail associated with those stronger thunderstorms, heavy rain, which may lead to localized flooding. That'll be pretty isolated and can't rule out an isolated tornado. Again, this will be tomorrow. So timing things out, you just saw right there, a few pop up showers and storms again firing up as we go through the afternoon tonight though looking very quiet as we head into tomorrow we're looking pretty good too as we go through tomorrow morning mostly sunny conditions but look what happens we get that daytime heating we have that frontal boundary move in very close to the area we'll begin to see pop-up showers some thunderstorms uh, again fire up across the area and some of us may see some clouds and with that cold front as it slowly moves through it's going to be humid tomorrow but eventually we'll see that slightly humid air move into the area beginning on Monday and sticking around as we head into our Tuesday and also it's going to knock down our daytime temps into the 80s next week. So it'll give us a break from the 90s and talking about the dew points again. We're not going to be in that miserable threshold, but it is going to be quite humid today and also tomorrow and Sunday. And you can see that the humidity is just knocked down some as we head into our Tuesday and Monday and Tuesday. So here's a look at your seven day 90 today at 20% coverage for showers and storms tomorrow 